North Carolina tobacco growers had high hopes that this year's crop would break the trend of recent years and turn a good profit. Farmers say it's their best tobacco crop in years, yet today their hopes went up in smoke. The buyers are not, don't seem to be buying much. Grower Joseph Matthews said he can't afford to sell his tobacco for the price he was offered. He pulled it off the market in hopes of a higher price later. It's just a lot of work for the amount of money we're getting, but uh, hopefully it'll get better. Tobacco, which growers say cost about $1.50 per pound to produce, brought an average price of $1.40 at today's first auction. Farmers say first day tobacco prices are usually lower than later in the year, but just the same they say they expected this year's high quality leaf to fetch much higher prices. A decline in U.S. tobacco consumption, an increase in tobacco imports, a glut of unsold tobacco from past years stored in government warehouses, all were blamed for today's disappointing market. Tobacco growers and election year politicians seeking their vote agreed. North Carolina's number one cash crop is in trouble. We've got so many of our farmers that are right on the margin now. They've had such tough times. It is absolutely a make or break year. Uh, they've had so many bad years in a row. If we have a real bad year this time, it's going to send a lot of the small farmers out. Like Joseph Matthews, most growers expect to earn enough from their crop to plant again next season. But their high hopes for a turnaround in the troubled tobacco markets must once again be put on hold for another year. Bill Whitaker, WBTV News, Robeson County.